Hey, what's up everybody? I'll be after back with a brand new video. So today I want to talk about something very, very important and that's the concept of when you start doing your credit repair and you start your journey with credit repair, what type of calendar are you actually working with, right? The timelines. And the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because I've seen a lot of people start their credit repair journey and not necessarily have a specific timeline they want to work with and essentially are doing it in context to, for example, uh, just for the sake of doing it, just to get some funding, but have no realistic idea or a specific time that they'd like to work with when it comes to actually obtaining that funding. So today I want to address that with you guys and really have a conversation about what we can do uh, to cover the, the, the topic of, of funding, to cover the topic of uh, working with a designated calendar and a timeline to basically get the best results and outcomes when it comes to fixing your personal credit. Now, the reason why we want to talk about this today and, and share this concept with you is because people in the specific uh, you know, situation with negative credit are essentially always looking for a way to fix that credit you know, quickly uh, to, to try, try to get that credit repaired as fast as possible so that they can jump onto some sort of funding uh, and, and try to basically uh, kind of outrun their negative credit in a very short period of time. Now, one thing that I gonna always encourage you to understand and I always tell people over and over and over again is that bad credit was caused due to negligence in your personal credit side. Uh, sometimes it's circumstantial, but you still don't have to leave it bad. Right? There are certain things that you could have done to kind of improve that credit and you have the ability to go ahead and improve it and you have the control over how you go about improving it. So the most important thing to understand when it comes to that is you know, work with the tools and resources that you have. Work with specific things that you have control over and don't let that bad credit essentially ruin uh, what you got going on. Or don't procrastinate your, you know, your, your ability to go ahead and get to, to get your credit fixed. So let's go ahead and go back to our conversation about timelines and, and the calendar and a designated time frame that you want to work with. So the biggest thing you want to do when it comes to that is put out a realistic timeline that you feel is a necess like it's it's a pretty decent time frame to get your credit fixed and it's necessary. With it, also work with a strategy that you know you can execute comfortably and you give yourself a little bit of room to be able to execute that you know that specific campaign that you want to work on and from that perspective then you go ahead and do what you have to do the reason i say this is because if you jump onto a credit repair journey and you don't have a very designated timeline and a realistic expectation and you're planning on fixing your personal credit you're not going to get the results that you desire for two reasons number one you won't have control over the outcomes because you don't have a, a pressure point or urgency because you have no sort of timeline and then number two is you always hop from one strategy to another whereas a timeline restricts you to the type of strategies that you want to take. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Depending on the type of strategy you use, you can definitely choose the right strategies for you based on the timeline you've selected. So keep that in mind. This is very important because a lot of people jump under the credit repair bandwagon. And they want to use all sorts of different tactics and stuff like that, but don't have a realistic timeline and they start the credit repair journey, but then it doesn't work out. So because they don't have a timeline, what happens is they're very open-ended so they'll go from one strategy to another and it's not necessarily the best thing to do. So my goal and advice to you, if you're going ahead and do your credit repair, have a timeline, have a dedicated set of strategies and give yourself a realistic expectation. I, I promise you're going to get the best results you've ever seen. Now, the other thing I'd like to say, and this one is kind of important, is when you're starting with a timeline and you're trying to select the timeline, don't create false expectations with people that depend on your credit to do things with you. So for example, a good expectation could be if you have a mortgage broker that's, you know, working with you, or let's say if you're going into a home and you have a seller who's waiting for your personal credit to, you know, get you the mortgage to qualify. And that seller is essentially looking to sell the property, but you, you your, you, your attention was on that property, your eyes caught that property. And you basically are infatuated with the idea of getting that property. The issue there is, you might have told you know your banker and everybody else in in that transaction who was kind of like the environment around that transaction that hey look you're working in your personal credit you should be good to go and you want to get qualified for a mortgage and then so you can grab that information and then get qualified for that and once you have that mortgage and obviously you can get the property the issue there is the actual buyer or, or you're the buyer but the seller who's actually selling you the property is waiting on that to, from you to to be able to get obviously 
out of that situation to cash out and do whatever they got to do after. If your credit is in a sense really bad and you are not able to qualify for a mortgage and you know you have a lot of work to do, yet you're putting yourself in a pressure point and a timeline that's completely unrealistic and you're telling that real estate broker and even the seller of that property that you're going to go ahead and qualify for mortgage and get the property and it's going to be a matter of weeks. Now, you're basically not only deceiving yourself, but also those around you. That that entire environment that you're working with, uh, you're going to lose the property and you're probably not going to qualify for a mortgage. Fact of the matter is, you're going to ruin the relationship you have going on with not only the seller, but also the mortgage broker and the people involved in that transaction. So my aim with you is before you start looking for properties and before you start you know, looking for uh, a home that you want to settle into or even an investment real estate deal, uh, get situated with your personal credit those are one of the most important things that I, a lot of people ignore and I, I think that you cannot afford to go ahead and ignore that so get situated with your personal credit you know develop a strategy like i said have a clear timeline have a good roadmap that you can follow once you have that you know set up and you have some sort of idea well, how long it'll take and what you can do with it then from that perspective you can go ahead and you know your, your credit is restored and you have something to work with and that perspective you can start you know doing your search for the real estate type of transactions that you want to complete, whether it be a home or investment real estate or whatever the case. So those are uh, necessary things that you need prior to actually doing a, t a transaction. So to, to avoid the unnecessary headaches and pain and the, the reputation loss from promising something that you can definitely not deliver on because you have absolutely no control over the situation, uh, you know, aspire to do things properly get situated with your personal credit from that develop a strategy and a game plan to get it situated with a realistic timeline once you've got that taken care of then think about you know finding a property thereafter but here's a couple of bonus things that i want to discuss with you guys and and the reason i want to share this is because you know most of you are probably wondering like when is it the right time to start thinking about fixing the credit because i have a couple of months before i have to move up my lease will expire or, or something along those lines right the thing is it's not the time of when should I start? It's rather, have you not already started it? And if you think about it, why are you going to wait a couple of weeks before you're going to have to be vacated from the property? Why do you have to not, you know, what, that kind of procrastination is going to definitely destroy any type of reasonable time frames you set for yourself because you'll be putting yourself in a pressure point and you feel obliged to go ahead and get things done faster. So without having that kind of pressure, I think that if you got a couple of months the first thing you got to do is you got to start doing your credit repair journey right now. You got to start doing it now and you got to start making moves because this type of thing, especially with COVID and the whole pandemic, the bureaus are also being negligent, right? And response times, you're going to see 60 day, 90 day response times. And that's really, it's become almost a norm. And the bureaus know, and we talked about this in another video is they're not really pressured from you. And they know you're not going to go ahead in front of a judge for a couple of years, maybe, you know, two to three years because of the way it's going to be backlogged so just on that alone you know you basically got so much things that you you have to consider yourself with so the bureaus will be negligent to the point where by the time you actually get successful in getting in front of a judge all they have to do is press a button and fix your credit so it's going to frustrate your finances to hire attorneys and go through the whole legal procedures and stuff like that so rather than doing all that kind of stuff the best thing you want to do given the time frames and the situation with the bureaus and obviously uh, understanding these type of timelines you got to start fixing your credit right now and that's ASAP, right? Don't wait a couple of weeks before you start moving out of your property when it comes to a real estate transaction or a few weeks before your business goes down under, you know, uh, until you get the right finances situated to keep your business going or whatever that, that, that necessity is, which is another point I'm going to talk about in a later video. But start now and start very aggressively looking at your credit, understand how to analyze it properly, do the right strategies that I teach on this channel. I'm going to link a couple of videos by the end of this video so you can have some idea of where to start. But don't wait until the very end to get your credit repaired or fixed or situated. Start now. Like I said, start with a real estate timeline, things that you know you have control over. Don't start on your property search and start promising people that you're going to have the right credit or the right type of financing in a matter of weeks, especially given the fact that you have no control over that. It's really the bureaus that do that. Uh, but you, at the end of the day, if you start sooner than after you, you've done and you know had some sort of concept proven when it comes to fixing your personal credit at that point you know you have things to work with then you go ahead and look for the property and get the deals done right so i just wanted to shoot out this video for you guys and give you some idea of what you need to do when it comes to fixing your personal credit or if you're basically starting off 
what are some of the tools that you have to use and the best tool you'll have is a proper and realistic timeline with the right set of strategies and then after that think about transactions so that you can secure yourself the reputation uh, from being damaged and of course uh, from other people being let down because you're in a rush or in an urgent situation where you have to you know you have to adjust your credit as soon as possible so with that said if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to all so every time videos like these come up you'll be the first to know and if you have any specific questions in reference to timelines or how to get more organized when it comes to executing a credit repair campaign let me know in the comment section below this video so that we can have a discussion and with that said and done this is definitely your guy to mentor i'll lead to raptor definitely catch you guys on the next one bye for now